Hello, my heart kinky humans. Welcome to yet another episode of Hearts and Kings podcast. I am your host, Miri Sharon. So if you're new here, um, welcome to this community. We support uh, positive, um, positive relationship, um, good sex. We are here to advise you. We are here to teach you about things that not m- many people talk about. Um, so welcome. And if you've been here before, Karibu Tena. So today I am joined by Colleen. Hi. Hi. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Col- Colleen Karuki. Um, I'm a forensic scientist. Mm-hmm. I'm an artist. And I'm also a tarot trader and a healer. So so today we're going to be we are we're going to talk about Polly Amari. We're going to start with an icebreaker where I'm going to ask her first of all you've been in a polyamorous relationship. Yes, I have. Yeah. So we are going I'm going to ask you a question about what polyamory is and mm-hmm. what it's not. You're going to tell us if it's true or false. All right. I am. Polyamory is just cheating. No, it's not. <laughs> Okay, okay. The the other one, uh, polyamorous people don't get jealous. Yes, we don't. For real? Yeah. Okay, how do you control the jealousy part? Okay. Um, polyamory is all about being in several experiences for your own happiness. So, if I love traveling and I have one partner who doesn't love traveling and there's another one who loves hiking, we can do this together with different people. Like, why should I be jealous of the other person doing him while I'm here doing me? Okay. Do you communicate this to their partners such that they know their several? Yes, we do. Wow. Yeah. And how does that go, given that men have egos and, um, yeah, men have egos. People have egos. Like Mm -hmm. me, like some of us claim to be very jealous people. Mm-hmm. Like how don't they get jealous? We work with like-minded people, who, people who are out there to adventure. It's all about intimacy. It's all about having fun in the process. All about doing great things together. I love painting. You love painting. Why don't we do this together? I can have a relationship where we're going out and having fun. I can have a relationship with someone who doesn't want to have fun. We just want to focus on other serious things, probably getting the bag together and stuff. So it's yeah. all about. It's not restricted to intimacy and love making and stuff. It's about doing a lot of things but, together. But there is a love making. There is. But, uh, <laughs> but it's not restricted to that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. How do you work on 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 being jealous? Is that is it that you're born like that? Um, um you just adapt. First of all, in polyamory. Uh-huh. Um, it's more of a no, no strings attached relationship. Mm-hmm. So we know why we are in, with each other. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay with what you're okay with. Like, okay, so we sit down. Mm-hmm. We're like, okay, we're getting the bag together. Mm-hmm. And the love making. Yeah. Just that. <laughs> not as you're trying to make it sound i mean like we're having fun right we're having, having fun, fun. Uh-huh. and uh you we're both enjoying this kind of relationship where you're free and i'm free mm-hmm. i'd have to call you every five minutes to know where you are oh uh-huh and w- wouldn't you wouldn't you say that's like a sort of lazy relationship? <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's they're not. Just doing the easier part. We're just doing <laughs> the the easier part, having fun, like maybe traveling, um, love making mm-hmm. without the mm-hmm. without the uh-huh. without the I'm feeling bad. Come comfort without the I lost someone. Come like. It's it's a relationship without the hard parts. No, it's a relationship with lots of individuality. You don't have to quite depend on the other person to be happy. You are doing what you love doing together. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't mean that you'll stop existing because this person is not there when you need, need him to be. That's why you need that other person mm-hmm. to be there for you when you need them because you're not restricted to having this one partner. This one right? pa- partner. Yeah. So it's fun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Um... Would you say 
that parents having multiple partners mm-hmm. is dami- is damaging for their children. No, it's not. Uh-huh. How is it damaging to their children? Because do you introduce this do do they do these partners get introduced to their children? No, they don't have to. They don't this, have these to. children of their father, so why would they need to know other partners? It's me and my life and the partners. Forget about the kids. The kids are out of this. Uh, yeah. So, so let me ask you: In a polyamorous relationship, mm-hmm. do do these partners meet the family and the friends? It depends. Uh-huh. Friends, yes. Family, if we click, why not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What is the goal? What, what is, is the end goal of this relationship? The end goal, the, the, because normally in a in a like in a traditional setting, yeah, um, monogamous relationship, the end goal is marriage, yeah, children, yeah, growing all together, yeah. Like, what's the end goal? Okay, the end goal of this is being happy. We have kids. <laughs> uh-huh. We don't need more kids. The goal is to be happy, adventure, uh-huh. travel the world, do great things together. It's living at the moment. We don't want to plan in the next five or ten years something we won't achieve. We're going with the flow and being happy. No one is. No one knows what time they have in this world. So why don't you live at the moment? Maybe when I'm told that you go with the flow, yeah. I'm like, guy, that is stressful. No, because I'm not. the kind of person who likes to plan things. Mm-hmm. Like a week before, like mm-hmm. come right now, I know everything I'm doing the next month. Mm-hmm. Like so, for me in a relationship, I want a plan. I want an end, an end goal. And that's so why your like, people how, in monogamous how, how like, relationship like, get very disappointed <laughs> because you have unrealistic expectations. You want this one person to travel with you. This one person to do one, two, three. This one person to be great in bed. This one person to cook for you. You can't find all that in one person. Why don't you just adventure and be with multiple people who can give you a part of what you want and be happy in the process? You have a point. Yeah. You have a point. Okay. Okay. Polyamorous mm-hmm. people just want a lot of sex. Not exactly, but partly. Partially, yes. Mm-hmm. Who didn't want to adventure anyway? Okay, it's not it's not all about sex, but sex is there. Of course, it's there, uh-huh. but it doesn't mean that because I have five partners, I have to be having sex with all of them. Uh-huh. No, there are lots to do. There's a lot to do other than that's why I told you it's not rest- restricted to intimacy. There are other things to do and have fun. I can be someone who wants to love to who loves to watch football till three a.m. and I'm that kind of person. So. I can leave the house at twelve, go watch football with you, and come back at twelve, and we're both happy. Like the match was great. I yeah. can be with another person who loves cooking, and we do a lot of, we practice a lot of cuisines together and stuff, mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I can be the person who's good in bed, and we probably take one day of the week and practice everything we watch in the <laughs> movies and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. The other question is. Mm-hmm. Mm, polyamorous mm-hmm. are just avoidant and afraid of commitment. Not really. Not afraid of commitment, mm-hmm. but they don't want to restrict themselves or feel as if they are caged or codependent. Mm-hmm. These are people who are living life. Commitment, commitment to one person who's going to cheat on you, who's not going to be there when I call them at 3 a.m., is quite a task for polyamorous people. Okay, so let me let me you. just say that's why that's why we need a lot of options. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you: Are you are you of the thought that um everyone has to cheat at some point in a monogamous relationship? Uh, not of the point, but it happens in almost all monogamous relationship mm-hmm. at some point. You cheat on each other. You get bored of each other. Mm-hmm. Or you can be in a relationship for about three years and you realize you are incompatible. Yeah. So it's risky to be in a monogamous relationship, I'd say, because you're putting all your eggs in one basket. 
what if they'll break okay yeah okay. so so let me ask you what does cheating in a polyamorous relationship look like cheating in a poly there's no cheating i mean it's, it's, it's like an open relationship mm-hmm. yeah but but sometimes you find that there are people who want to they're like okay you can talk to other people mm-hmm. you can meet with other people but just tell me and communication is communication, key yeah. yeah 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 communication is key in polyamorous relationships so if this person does not communicate yeah the problem is not that they were out with other people mm-hmm. the the problem is you didn't communicate mm-hmm. so so that's when you can see that in that situation they have cheated uh not exactly like i wouldn't mind what that person does after we after we are not together because mm-hmm. i don't own this person and this person doesn't own me we just having fun together we have our own rules we meet we do this and that and then we we'll see you next time it's okay. not about mm-hmm. like keeping tabs with what you do in your everyday life it's not about nagging you at 3 am to want to know whether you got home cuz uh, um, i know I don't, you're not home i don't even <laughs> I don't I don't even deserve to know where you are at three surely <laughs> because I have nothing to do with what you do after we're done doing what I be it traveling mm-hmm. be it a movie the movie was great why should you come here to him mm. yeah okay okay would you say that polyamory is just cheating no it's not cheating given a fancy name <laughs> no, polyamory is polyamory is adventurous. Uh-huh. Polyamory is having fun mm-hmm. and uh, being happy without feeling caged in a boring relationship. Yeah. Okay. And okay. doing great things with a lot of p- different people with different personalities. Okay, yeah. talking about doing great things. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about our sponsor for this episode. Um, our sponsor is Jill Store. Jill Store is um, a store that has all the sex toys that you want. It has lube, both for anal and vaginal use, handcuffs, lingerie, anything you want to have fun in the bedroom. They have them. And I'm also going to tell you about my game, which is Explore. You kinky, you can get it. You can WhatsApp or call and text the number 0752-698877 or email heartsandkings at gmail.com. You can also DM me at Hearts and Kings Podcast. Okay, about the sex toys and Jill store. I'm going to give you a code that you can find in the description box below and when you use that code to purchase anything from the store, you're going to get up to 50% off. Yeah. So go have fun and thank me later. So we are going to go back to the topic. I am going to we're going to discuss more of polyamory. Um what are the basic like basic rules of getting into a polyamorous relationship? Basic rules? Yeah. Like the basic, if I'm going to start, where, mm-hmm. where, where, I'm going to, where am I going to start? Where you're going to start is mm-hmm. not feeling entitled to <laughs> be in another person's life, <laughs> living at the moment. Uh, avoid attachment if need be. You must avoid attachment by the way. How do you avoid attachment? Because just talking to you right now, mm-hmm. I could get attached. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, I want to talk to you every day. How to avoid attachment is yeah. by being grounded. <laughs> be grounded on your own energy. That way you won't have to be attached to anyone. Like I have to be full of myself. Not to be full of yourself, but to be grounded. Be on your own energy. Mm-hmm. So that you won't be affected by the other person. And uh, that way you would be codependent because there is you. Mm-hmm. Before this other person. So when you're with this other person... Mm-hmm. You don't need them. You are with them because you want to be, not because you have to be there. Like, okay, okay. It's not a mask. It's not a mask. Uh, yeah. First of all, you need to fall in love with yourself. How hard is that? That is hard. Okay. It's not. <laughs> practice self-love. When you practice self-love and you're so in love with yourself, you don't need that other person. 
you want to be with them and you can be with them and i want to be with another person and another person because my heart is too big and full of love i can be able to love two three people five people at the same time okay. not because i need them but because i want to uh, okay let me ask you mm-hmm. um i have been involved with several people at the same time mm-hmm. but after some time you find yourself gravitating to one person mm-hmm. That's why you lose focus. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Because uh, Th- gravitating... Doesn't, doesn't gravi- that happen where like, I think I prefer this one. Ava, this, you, don't, you don't have... Do you ever like get a favorite person? I've never like got everything I needed in one person. Okay, 80%. Not really. So it's like a, a small 30, 30, 30, 30. Mm, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and again, I don't want to be attached to these people because, as we said earlier, my goal is not to get married to either of them. We're just living at the moment, and we don't want any any kids either. So we're just having fun, doing what we can do together, mm-hmm. what we love doing, because what I love doing with this with person A is not what I do with person B or C. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. It is. So it's like you get to explore di- different parts of yourself yeah. with different people. Just uh, enjoying people with multiple personalities and mm. getting from them what I really want. It's all, sometimes it's about it's me. Selfish. Uh, no, it's not selfish. <laughs> it's selfish. Who doesn't deserve to be happy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Mm, what, what's the longest that you've gone in a polyamorous relationship? Two years. Wow. Yeah. Why did it? Why did it end? Mm, I lost myself somewhere, and I took a break because I needed to gr- to be grounded. So you got attached. I said I lost myself. I didn't say <laughs> I didn't say I got attached. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, um, when your friends and family mm-hmm. get to know. Um, what are their reactions? It doesn't really matter. This is about me. This is a better me versus me. Am I happy with this person? Am I enjoying? Mm-hmm. Am I happy with the kind of life I'm living? The other person has never really been significant to me. It doesn't matter who they are. They might be friends or family. They don't have to agree with what I do. I have my own life and they have their own lives to live. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, but in case whenever your family and friends, mm-hmm. they've probably known something, Amma, they've met, mm-hmm. what do they say? Mm, I mean, like, I'm at a point in this polyamorous world where it doesn't really matter what they say. It doesn't. It yeah. Doesn't it doesn't affect me. Uh-huh. It doesn't affect how I feel about it. Mm-hmm. And it won't make me go back to a monogamous relationship where I'm not happy. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now that you have their their male partners, mm-hmm. do you ever meet like their other partners? What should I? See, probably you want to get kinky and have threesome. <laughs> <or some>. Um, <laughs> I think that's a whole uh, another topic. We might have to do a whole <laughs> podcast for that. Uh, but uh, um, no, I've restricted myself to meeting people who I'm having fun with. People who are we exploring the world with, people who we are reasoning on a mental level with. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to know who their other pa- partners are unless we are reasoning in the same capacity. Oh. Yeah. But you will be open to actually meeting them. Yes. Why not? I'm not jealous. Uh, yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, yeah. When it comes to money. Yeah. In every relationship, whether it's friendship, whether it's family, mm-hmm. whether it's monogamy, yeah, there's an issue about money. Mm-hmm. How does money work okay. in such a situation? Especially now that you're the lady, mm-hmm. how does that happen? How does that work? We are traveling. Yeah, mm-hmm. who we is tra- Who is? It's nothing big, no big deal. Just making it clear. Mm-hmm. We're going on a trip. It's a three, four days trip. Mm-hmm. This is a budget. So what do you want to do and what, how much can I chip in? Uh-huh. It's not like 
we are in this to drain each other we also help each other if need be <laughs> and if one of them is willing to kind of buy tickets and pay for all the expenses why not why not yeah. why not but yeah. hasn't there be um like a problem no. like ama ama like um you've rubbed shoulders because no polymerous polyamory is not for broke people even say <laughs> because <laughs> when you're having fun money is involved of course so for both parties, for like, both if, parties. If, I wanted, if i wanted to start polyamory yeah I have to be rich rich rich. Ah, uh, it's not like rich rich rich, but you don't need to like depend on the other person to give you some to help to help you pay some small bills which like you I can, can do yourself. Like I uh, I need my hair done. Like I, I can just It depends them. with the rules you set. Uh, probably this person wants to pay your bills. Mm-hmm. Probably this person is open to doing other things mm-hmm. but not giving you money. And oh, uh-huh. In my case, I'm on my own bag. I'm not here for the money. Like I don't Just want here anything for the fun. from them. Yeah, I'm here mm-hmm. for the fun. Uh, if you want to give me money, it's a plus. But I'm not. It's not the main. It's not really important mm. because that's not why I'm with you in the first place. Okay. So, yeah. so the final questions. Yeah. What 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 are like your best polyamory um, experience? Uh that was way back in campus. Uh-huh. Um where there was this guy who used to update me on everything he's doing. He'd call me like oh that, babe. That's a relationship. Not really. It's polyamory. Uh-huh. But we used to have a lot of fun probably over the weekend mm-hmm. and if I can't reach him he used to send me like a voice note. I was in Tafute and in the Kuta Vitumbali. Like, he was so open about what he does and stuff. So, you are, like, uh, one of his boys? No, no. You are, like, a friend, a close friend. Not but, really. But we, now, in a, in a we, polyamorous... We were, we were in a real polyamory relationship. But he used to keep, like... He used to update me, mm-hmm. everything he does. And I met several of his partners. Mm-hmm. Let's just say we had fun. Uh, Don't <laughs> get into details. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, and it's not what you're thinking. I know where you're smiling. <laughs> but <laughs> we had lots of fun together. Uh-huh. Uh, so, yeah, that was exciting. And plus, um, he kind of it. He kind of made me get hooked to it. Oh, yeah. because because it actually worked for you at yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. Okay, what about your worst? Your worst oh, my worst is like... having someone stalk me. Someone <sighs> feeling a CV. He's entitled to know what I do and what time I get home, what time I leave for work and stuff. So then um, they wanted like a normal relationship. Yeah. Like an extra uh, it started with things. polyamory and then they got attached in the process. It was wow. hard for me because I had to let go. That was not the kind of arrangement. I had bargained for so mm-hmm. I don't want anything to do with like feeling stuck mm-hmm. yeah or having to to be with you because now you're in love and I'm not so that was worse because the other person ended up like hurting themselves in the process yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and hurting you because because yeah, i can yeah. imagine being stalked being yeah, stalked, yeah. uh sounds creepy it was yeah and very disturbing and actually showing up where you're drinking and you've not even called them mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. i love what, what does the way you were saying that he you know the first guy that he used to inform you mm-hmm. about about things where he's going you like were, the exciting details Oh. Yeah, I'm with this and this person. Mm-hmm. We're doing these and these, and yeah, it was fun. Okay, how uh, does how does intimacy look like in a polyamorous relationship? Now that we are not checking up on each other, now that like, how does what does intimacy look like? Do we do we ever talk about the deep stuff? Like, yeah, oh, yeah. I lost my parents. I'm a, oh, I am I am going through this emotionally. Like, how how does intimacy work? It does work. Like, we can have these normal kind of conversations. Mm -hmm. We can have deep conversations as well. Mm -hmm. Some of these polyamory people are people who 
most of the people I've met that is are people who are who have ascended. So we connect on a spiritual level as well. Mm-hmm. And but what, they've ascended. Uh, by ascension, I mean like <laughs> 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 by ascension, I mean like um, <laughs> uh, they are so connected, in touch with the higher self. They are <laughs> they are very deep in the spiritual world. <laughs> I love to teach you some of these yeah, things. Yeah, please do. I send it. I'm uh, like, yeah, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> no, they're not dead. Uh, it's, it's the higher self ascension. <laughs> That's what I mean. So we have deep conversations. Mm-hmm. We talk about the world. We talk about life. We talk about l- love, how we're living, healthy living. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just because they're polyamorous doesn't mean they're not intelligent and they are they care, yeah. they are there for you when you need them. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I will, I'll always check on them when they are sick. I'll call them to know how they're doing. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean that I'm not attached. And whenever they've lost someone close, we'll always be there for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. just yeah. no hard, no no strings attached and no hard feelings yeah, when you say you're doing shit because. I don't own you and you don't own me. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, I want to start polyamor. Yeah. Where do I start? <laughs> um, as I say, just be grounded. I'm with this person. We're having fun. Yeah, We're going to be going to play golf over the weekend or mm-hmm. do this and this. And uh, we're just having fun. Mm-hmm. And after the golf, bye, go home. Have a shower, relax. If they call you back some other time, good for you. But then that doesn't stop you from going to Nivasha tomorrow. With these, are, with these other great person uh-huh. who can also teach you a lot of great things like racing and uh-huh, stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Just um, master detachment. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Where do I find this person? Where do you find them? Uh-huh. Where do you find them? There's no one you'll meet and tell and, and and you tell them, you know what? I'm polyamorous. Can you try this? It's just about how you deal with the people you meet in your everyday life. If they want to be attached, let them know that you're not restricted to meeting other people. Mm-hmm. Let them know that you're not dating for marriage or you're not in this relationship with some expectations. Mm-hmm. So they are also free to do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, can you say that um, you guys mm-hmm. you're just in an extended office? It, uh, <laughs> 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 That's interesting. There's nothing like an extended office here. Um, um, you're just in a, in a very long, 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 long. Like you're just in a office. I'm not really. Like back with a glorified name. Um, it's not a glorified name. Mm-hmm. It's just knowing what you want and living your truth where should i be with a person in a monogamous relationship and cheat on them because i want to do other things with other people mm. yeah okay mm-hmm. okay okay it actually makes sense yeah yeah because because sometimes monogamy is restricting i love sometimes in monogamy i love your thinking mm-hmm. Um, what about that one? Yeah. What about that one? Yeah. And people were monogamous. Thinking about them, by the way, it's cheating already. Because you're, oh, wow. you're already thinking about another person. <laughs> yeah. Eh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, now looking now from the polyamorous, um, going in now mm-hmm. to like a monogamous person, mm-hmm. what would you tell us people who are monogamous? I mean, life is so great for you to be stuck with one person who doesn't <laughs> want to give you everything that you want. Explore. It's fun. It's fun. No regrets. It's fun. Nothing. Okay, yeah. okay. But, but I think everyone should do whatever they can because I know that people were extremely jealous. Yeah. And it's not really for codependent. The memory is not for, for codependent everyone. people mm-hmm. and jealous people. You'll die. Yeah. Because some of us, some of us, Start dating people, mm-hmm. and just, then you get attached. You feel like you attached. can't live without them. Yeah, and you start thinking wedding, start thinking children. Mm-hmm. Like that's, I think. Plus, that's how we are conditioned. Mm-hmm. Like from the word go, all the movies that we've seen, mm-hmm. the happy ending. Mm-hmm. It's the, the happy ending doesn't have marriage. to be with you with someone else. The happy ending can be you being happy. 
okay when 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 we have conversations with people who are like at oh you're too old you should start um building a family mm-hmm. their argument is you're going to die alone mm-hmm. and you're going to be lonely mm-hmm. and what's wrong with is being that alone? a worry it's not a, no, a, a worry yes. what's wrong with being alone in your own energy do you really need the other person to survive Let's is your survive. happiness restricted to the to being with a, with someone no uh-huh. no but but i think that we we were created uh-huh. um even like even the wild animals they live in parks in in like a in a group uh-huh. like we we sort of need each other we need the intimacy uh-huh. Uh-huh. we need the friendship and you're need. getting all that in this polyamorous people partners uh, but is it sustainable very sustainable like uh, like let, let us assume mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. in my in my 60s mm-hmm. 70s even 70 years young am, am i still polyamorous am I, i want a person to to grow old with at 70 yeah you think 70 is old There are people so who I know who are 75 and with like three different partners practicing okay. polyamory. Wait. Yeah. Okay. okay. So and, clearly and, and they, don't even, they don't even look 70 by the way. I think the enemy is being with one person who is stressing you. Because mm. these people are too happy to look their age. They look 10 or 20 years younger. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. So um What are your final final remarks? What would you tell anyone out here who wants to start? Well, it's not that right? bad. It's uh-huh. not that bad. If you get easily attached, don't even try it. Uh-huh. Uh, if the goal is to meet different people with different personalities and do different great things together, go for it. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say it's a no some experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just don't get hooked to one person. Yeah. Don't get hooked. Yeah. Yeah. So if you if you're planning to start um polyamory or you're o- already in it, am I um am I it's, it it sounds like something that you want to start. So this is the video you start with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hope you are taking notes and yeah, I, I think it's sustainable because for me for me the problem an interesting. Would be, yeah, an interesting and fun. Yeah, but is it fun. is it that fun? Because so, I'm like, um, co- okay, we were we were to end the episode, but let me ask you. Like for me, for me, I am like a super sexual. Mm-hmm. Um, like you feel like okay, there are specific things mm-hmm. that I want from a person. Mm-hmm. How many people can I find mm-hmm. who are going to feed mm-hmm. that part of me that I want to be fed? Probably two or three. Yeah. Mhm. Ama one. Sometimes it's one. Mm, I doubt. One in a year. Oh. Mm-hmm. I really doubt so they will find one person with the reading you want. <laughs> not everything, not mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. Like it's very hard to find people you like. Yeah, that's why you need to that's meet. That's the thing. It's, yeah, it's very exactly. hard. So for me you to find three people at once yeah. to be in this relationship with mm-hmm. at once. Listen, you don't need to find three people with everything you like. Not everything, yeah. something I like. Yeah, at least sometimes with, you find with these three three these three people, mm-hmm. you'll find at least five qualities you like in each person. That sums up everything you like. So two here, two yeah, here, yeah. one here. Yeah. Okay. You love driving? We can go for long drives tomorrow. Uh-huh. <laughs> you love fishing next week. Let's go fishing yeah. and I like fish. Yeah. Plus, uh-huh. uh-huh. So it's fun. Okay. Very it's exciting. fun. It's fun. It's yeah. fun. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh you are with me, Mary Sharon and Colleen. Colleen okay. uh, you can find her. You can find her. She actually has done my tarot reading which I have to sleep on it <laughs> and get my life in order. Yeah, but um so you can find her Intense Soul Tarot on Instagram. Uh-huh. You also do other things. You you told me you are a life coach. I'm a life coach. Uh-huh. I'm a healer. Mhm. I also do teenage counseling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can and you can find her 
uh on K1 every K1 Sunday. every Sunday. Yeah, K1 free market. Free market. Yeah, every yeah. Sunday. Yeah. So um uh remember to to if you want sex toys to give to your friends to for yourself um get uh click the link on the description below and for my card game you can also find there find it uh description below yeah so that that is it for today i hope you've enjoyed uh follow me on instagram at hearts and kings podcast for any questions or any suggestions email me at hearts and kings at gmail.com bye